The electric force can produce impressively long sparks while altogether avoiding the mechanical complexity of a Wimsurf machine or Van de Graaff generator. Under optimal conditions, I recall obtaining sparks that were possibly three inches long. My device was nothing more than a pizza pan, some acrylic, sheet metal, and a toilet plunger. The device is reminiscent of a dissectable capacitor, except the charge is acquired by friction, properly referred to as triboelectrification, and opposing conductive plates are electrically shorted before being separated. Begin with a flat square piece of metal. Sheet metal will work fine, but unless the metal is straight and flat, aluminum foil is preferable. Place a thick piece of acrylic, one fourth inch thick or greater in thickness, on top of the metal. In my personal experience, I seem to recall getting improved results by stacking individual layers of 1 4 inch acrylic for a combined thickness of up to one inch. The acrylic must be clean and dry. Do not use glass cleaner, alcohol, or any chemicals. Use a damp, oil-free cloth to clean the acrylic and allow it to dry naturally before being used. Briskly rub the acrylic with a dry paper towel and then place the pizza pan directly on top of it. Moisten the bottom edge of a toilet plunger and press the plunger onto the pizza pan so that it forms a partial vacuum and remains attached. The pizza pan will be neutral, but the acrylic will be charged after you rub it with the paper towels. After you place the pizza pan directly onto the acrylic, the charge on the surface of the acrylic will naturally repel and attract the same and opposite charges on the pizza pan, respectively. Once you connect the pizza pan to the bottom metal plate using a conductor, however, the repelled charges on the pizza pan can be pushed out through the conductor. When the connection made through the conductor is removed, the pizza pan will have a net charge opposite that of the acrylic. Due to the inverse relationship of capacitance and voltage for a given charge, voltage increases with increased distance over which the pizza pan is lifted above the acrylic. As the height of the pan and voltage increase, it will become increasingly critical that the pizza pan be smooth and free of nicks, scratches, and surface flaws. Sharp or jagged surface features can leak away thousands of volts from the pizza pan. Provided the surface quality of the pan is sufficient to prevent excessive charge leakage, a quite visible, audible, and possibly impressive spark can occur when the pizza pan is abruptly and rapidly approached by the previously connected conductor. Whatever is used to draw this spark, it should be a smooth, rounded object. Sharp or uneven surfaces will only draw small sparks as the highest possible voltage is reduced substantially by charge leakage through the air. After the spark has occurred, the pizza pan can be returned to the surface of the acrylic and again be grounded through the conductive connection with the bottom metal plate. It is not necessary to rub the acrylic again. The charge on the acrylic is not depleted by the spark. However, the pizza pan must be connected or grounded to the bottom metal plate briefly and disconnected before being lifted again to produce another spark. The process can be repeated as many times as desired. To recap, the process is to charge the acrylic initially, ground the pizza pan before lifting, draw a spark from the raised pizza pan, return the pizza pan to the acrylic, ground again, and repeat the cycle. Thank <laughs> you.
Do not connect any electrostatic machine, including this one, to any incandescent lamp, including modern ones, that contain a high vacuum. Do not connect the device to any vacuum tube or anything else that contains a vacuum. Applying high voltage to vacuum devices can produce dangerous x-rays. Never operate an electrostatic device near electronic equipment. Electrostatic devices can produce significant radio frequency interference. Never operate an electrostatic device around anyone wearing implanted electronic devices such as pacemakers and insulin pumps. Avoid all electric shocks even if they are seemingly harmless. You must assume all risk when using the content of my videos. I specifically disclaim any and all liability associated with construction and use of any device featured in this video. I specifically disclaim any and all liability associated with or resulting from information that is provided in this video. Designs presented here are in the interest of providing information only and do not represent safe nor ANSI safety compliant designs.